so it's a little bit darker. Okay. Right. Well, we'll repair our stuff, as we always do. But yeah, this armour really worked wonders for that fight in particular, so it might be a thing to consider, you know, if we need good magic resistance. Uh, what about levelling up? We can level up the one time. I'm going to stick it into endurance, because I need endurance quite badly. Alright, and I think the next stop should be... Undead Parish, I think. Let's walk to Undead Parish. Because we need to give something to Mr. Andre. Yes. We'll do all the little niggly bits before we need to actually do anything in Yolanda Ruins. We could do the first little bit of that, actually. We'll do the first little bit of that because I need to give something to someone. Which I've been putting off for a long time. I'm going to switch back to... The cleric stuff. We'll have a look at the brass armor in a sec. Uh, yeah, and black tights for now. How heavy is the brass set? Is it heavy or it is a bit? Okay. Well, we'll see what it's like anyway. Because we've got that dark ember, haven't we? Andre, mm -hmm. show me that ember of yours. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. Sure. Yes. Well, thank you. This ember really is something special. I'm already under its spell. I sense great potential indeed. Andre, please. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. Please keep your fascination of embers to yourself because you're creeping me out. Right. Let's. Uh, yeah, we could just go to um, Thingy, can't we? Yeah, that's the technical name now, Thingy. We can go to uh, Filing Shrine, normally. How many homo bones have I got now? Oh, five, okay. I need to start putting stuff in the bottom of this box. I still need to look at that brass set. I still haven't done it. We'll do it when we've finished all the other little bits and pieces. So, why do we need to go down to New Lando Ruins? Well, there's two reasons. One, because that's where the next boss resides. And two, um, there is an ember that we need to give it to Vinheim. That was pretty poor fighting by me. Message. Be wary of Caster. That would be the um, six side seeker. See the messages returning. Weakness range battle. See if there's any other interesting stories. I want to show you something with uh, Donald Zinger as well. I'm saying him a lot. I need to learn how to not say um every five seconds. Okay, so we head down here. So he's still there, but none of his friends are. We hear Frank snoring. I do need to feed stuff to him as well, actually. Because I was informed about those coins, those silver coins, I can feed them to Frank for no penalty. Onion Bro still here. Is there anything else to say to Onion Bro? There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll go... We'll go down below 
first, I think. So, what do I need to do here? I need to have a look at stuff, don't I? So let's do that first. Okay. Man, that crest shield was an absolute lifesaver there. However, I probably would have been okay without it. Once I understood the fight, I was able to dodge most of the attacks. So brass armour. You know, it's what's expected, really. Good physical defences, not too good on the magic defences. But that's in comparison to the cleric robe. Actually, looking at the numbers, the magic defences and fire and lightning aren't that bad. So, it's okay armour, I guess. Brass gauntlets. There you go. In comparison to the wondrous stuff. Better physical defences. Not so good on the magic. Bleeding poison resist is down. Curse resist is up, though. And a bit more poise as well. Better durability, which is to be expected. Here, the bleed resist is up, but the curse resist is down on the cleric robes. And in comparison to the tights, again, better physical resistances, but not so good on the fire and magic. It's not that far down, actually. Better lightning resistance. Down on bleed, poison and curse. Looking at the magic defences, um... It's not that far down on fire, it's really the magic where it takes a hit. What about here? Doesn't really take... Oh yeah, it does take a bit of a hit to fire. Not so much to magic. And makes the cleric robes in terms of the resistances. It takes quite a hit to both. Okay. I know it hasn't been improved, but it would still be quite a, a big hit. I am going to switch to my ring. So, yeah, that's okay, I guess. The other thing we picked up as well was a spell. That would be... Sunlight Blade. What does that do? Who's strike right weapon with Rays of the Sun? Pretty nice, I guess. So, yeah, the brass armour is okay. It's a bit too heavy for me. But it's okay, better in physical resistances, but down in the elemental resistances and slightly on the magic, depending on which piece of armour you're looking at. We'll put those into the bottomless box. I don't think you can put spells in there, you can't. Uh, so we'll... We need to put the souls in there as well. Gwendolyn and Priscilla. I need to think about maybe utilising some of these. But we're okay for now. Put the large Titanite shards in there. We can put the crest shield back now. And all these other shields. Blood shield I'm going to keep on me for now. I think that needs Twinkling Titanite as well, actually. I think we're good there. And then just the brass set. Which is going to be right near the bottom, isn't it? Because it's in the order. No, it's not in the order you picked it up. Go figure. We didn't really look at the, bla the blast helm, the brass helm, but it's not as good as the gargoyle helm. I guess we could look at it very quickly. I just don't really look at helmets because the gargoyle helm is so freaking good. Better physical, but not as good elemental and magic. Uh, not a huge. Oh yeah, quite a big hit to all of them actually. Yeah, a hit to bleed and poison. Better on Curse. Uh, same poise, though, amazingly. Durability is better, of course. Weight's worse, so... Nothing that special, really. So, yeah. I just don't really look at helmets anymore. I should, but I just don't.
Right. Okay, we're going to do one last bit down in in Londo Ruins, and then we'll finish. Because I'll be cutting out a lot of that Gwyndolin fight. My god. I don't know how many times I died. I'll have to look off screen how many times I died. And then I may reveal the number to you. It wasn't as many times as with Dragon Slayer Ornstein and Execution Smo. And to be fair, most of the deaths were because. Like I said, I wasn't understanding the fight, and you need to understand the fight in these games. So, yeah, we need to give something to Bricket of Inheim. But we also have something else to do down here. What are we to do down here, I hear you cry? Well, we're going to go the opposite way to Inheim first. Because you know that crestfallen guy? We haven't seen him around, have we? This is why. Oh, he's good as well. I'm sorry, dude. He went hollow. How sad. I mean, I didn't have much love for him anyway, but that is sad. May as well take the liberty of just killing all these guys because free souls. I'm not going to turn down free souls, you know? Alright. Ricket, my friend. I have something for you. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Is that a sorcery ember? It is. Oh, I've never seen one like that. Not even back in Vinheim. What a brilliant flame. Please, friend, let me have that. I am begging you. I am a craftsman of Vinheim. I'd go hollow before I pass him a flame like that. He's just as bad as Andre. Get some weird sexual thrill out of these embers. What is it with Smiths in this game? Oh, really? You are wonderful. I will forge a Ricket masterpiece just for you. A weapon to make a legend out of it. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idleness. Alright. Okay, so we do need a few more souls actually to buy what I want to buy from Creepy Merchant as well. But we'll find a way of getting those souls. We can sell some stuff to Frampton and whatnot, or feed some stuff to him. You guys know what I mean by selling, okay? Or at least I know what I mean. So, back up to Fighting Shrine, we've dealt with that. We haven't got any Fire Keeper Souls, so we don't need to deal with that. She's still there though. Still trapped. That scumbag lore track. Pretty much consigned her to that area. Right, let's go and get our weapon for waking up Brant. Mace, there you are. My trusty beaten stick. I know it doesn't make any difference, but I don't want to hit him with a great broad sword. He doesn't deserve that sort of punishment. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. You were asleep, dude. So I woke you up. And I'm drinking Estes in front of you. I didn't want to do that. I don't want to get too close to the ledge either. I am pleased to see you well. 
Is it something urgent? I want to feed you stuff, dude. All right, so let's run through things here. Is it stuff that I'm... I think it is, you know. Farewell. Okay, just going to sort out my inventory and then I'll be... Why am I drinking Estus? I think what I'm doing is I'm thinking I can put away my weapon. I actually can't. All right, let's actually assess what we need to do here. I'll sort through my stuff in the bottom of this box, and then when we come back, I'll be able to give my stuff to front. See you in a bit. Ping, I'm back. Let's try this again. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? I think I've moved everything. And if I haven't, we can go back and sort it. Right. Oh. I guess it's just certain stuff you can sell and certain stuff you can't. Right, I'll feed him one of those. And one of those. I have more moss clumps than I know what to do with. So that's all well and good. Silver coins. Okay, so I'm going to sell four of them. Because I have one in storage. I think. Mm. I'm sure I have five. So we'll sell those. Okay, and we got one left. Okay, I don't know what was going on there. Maybe glitch. I was a bit worried there. Okay, what else can we sell to you, buddy? Um, may as well get rid of these items here. What else is there? There's a normal spear I can give you. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you do in your bottomless box. There's just certain stuff you can't sell. that stuff because I'm not interested in that. Arrows are fine. Armour. Do we have any hollow stuff? We don't. So that's fine. And for this I think we're good. I'm going to keep both Ring of Sacrifices uh, because they can be very useful. And I can always warp from him as well. Oh no, that takes down to the thing. Chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Okay. So one or two things more to do. I'm not gonna be using any souls to level, unfortunately. Because I need stuff. So the next place we wanna go to then is we wanna go to where Donna Zena is and we also wanna go and see the creepy merchant. Once we've done with that, we'll finish. We've been going for an hour 38. But I don't know how long it's going to be for you guys. And we'll get some nice juicy souls off these guys. We can plunge that guy in a sec. Come on, bro. Yeah, sit down. Sit down and hush your mouth. There we go. Take him down that way. Narrow hallway so I can do this. Not this. This. Ha oh. ha. All right, down the sewer we go. I can get some fire and poison arrows back from there as well. Oh, hello, dearie. You left me high and dry for a while there. I thought maybe you'd forgotten about me. Are you back for more of my moss then? Plenty of it here, freshly peeled, just for you. <laughs> Oh, 
creepy as hell. Okay. So, I am going to buy from you some transient curses. I'm going to buy three. I think three is enough. What we're doing next. I think we're good on everything else. Poison arrows, I will restock. Up to 50. Fire arrows, I will do the same with those as well. Where are the fire arrows? There they are. Let's go with... 20 of those. Even though they were pretty much useless against the bat demons. I think we're good. I think I like Uh, I, I don't. I don't want to engage. <laughs> so why do we need to go and see Mr. Donald? Why do we need to go and see our Welsh friend? Well, there's something that I forgot to show you, and it's another really cool thing about the Dragon Saint One Steam Execution Snow Battle. Those of you who haven't played this game, I am going to keep the suspense going. Okay. Uh. I didn't kill that guy, did I? Oh, well. I don't think he'll kill me anyway. Hey, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> okay. Golem armor. I didn't know about that. I mean, that armor is like super heavy, but there's that. And then look at that. So, whoever you kill last, you get the armor of that boss. I really wanted Ornstein stuff, but I got some stuff. It's really heavy, but it's there. Also, you get. The Moonlight stuff as well, from um, killing Gwyndolin. It's not really what I'm looking for, but there's that. So, for certain bosses you kill, you get all sorts from this Well, fight. that is a shame then, but no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us, someday, sometime. I'm just not really that interested in it. I think the stuff that I'm wearing is fine. But it's nice that that's in the game. That's really cool. Sit down. None of that from you. I was pulling myself onto a punch there, but... Yeah. All right, and I think that's where we're going to leave it, guys. Not quite as much as I would have liked to have got done in this session, but, man, that Gwyndolin fight really did put me in my place. But we're going to leave it here for this session, guys. So, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these episodes, please don't forget to leave a like, share, share comments. It really would help me out a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel or subscribe if you're new. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, where you'll be able to keep up with everything that happens on our channel, as well as get involved in a bit of banter. But until next time, guys, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll be heading down to the new Londo Ruin.